Today, we'll be learning about respiration. Respiration is a process of gas exchange in animals. Now, when we breathe in, we breathe in oxygen gas. Glucose we get from food. So glucose is the sugar we get in the breakdown of carbohydrates. Now, when we breathe in oxygen, after it enters our lungs, it gets into our bloodstream and goes through our heart and is pumped around our body so that all of our cells can respire. Now once our cells have used that oxygen, they convert it to carbon dioxide and water. That carbon dioxide and water travels through our bloodstream back to our heart and then to our lungs where we breathe it out. Now it is very important to say that oxygen, when it's in our bloodstream, it travels on red blood cells, on a protein called hemoglobin. Today, we're going to be looking at the bell jar model of the lung. In this model, the top here represents the trachea. Now, this separates into the bronchi, which is the white tube inside the jar. The lungs are represented by the balloons, and our rib cage is represented by this glass jar. Lastly, we have the diaphragm. The diaphragm is represented by the plastic at the bottom of this jar. When we inhale, our diaphragm contracts. This causes the volume to increase in our lungs. As we can see, the volume increases. And when the volume increases in our lungs, the pressure decreases, causing our lungs to inflate. Now, when our diaphragm relaxes, as you can see it is doing now, it decreases the volume, which increases the pressure and causes our lungs to deflate. So, when we inhale, our diaphragm contracts, it increases the volume, decreases the pressure, causing lungs to inflate. When we exhale, our diaphragm relaxes, causing decreased volume and increasing the pressure, causing our lungs to deflate as we breathe out. Now there are some problems with this model. When we breathe in, our chest expands, where in this case, the rib cage is represented by glass, which does not expand. In this model, in between the lungs and the rib cage, there's just empty space, when in reality we have a fluid in between our rib cage and lungs. There's a very important part of this missing from this model, and that is blood vessels. We know we have blood vessels in our chest to diffuse the oxygen in from our lungs. It also diffuses carbon dioxide out 